look for you today. It's pretty simple. I'm using like two colors from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's really, really easy. And I will insert a picture of the look up close here. So that's the look, and if you'd like to see how I did it, then just keep so watching. So as always, we're going to start um, with a base. I'm using the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm just going to take that all the way up to the brow. So the very first color I'm going to be using today is the He Loves Me Not by Glamour Doll Eyes. And it's just kind of a copper color with like, um, multicolored reflex in it which is just really really pretty and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid with a shader brush and I'm not using this wet I'm just gonna use this dry but I just want you guys to see like the pigmentation in this it's just incredible and since it's a loose shadow you want to pat the color in not like brush it on but as you can see it's just showing up so beautifully and I am just patting this color on. Second layer, just kind of pressing the shadow on the lid. And if you get fallout, that's okay. That is the reason why I have not done my face yet. But you can just see that as like, woo, super shiny. Now I'm just gonna take a blending brush and I guess I'm gonna use my Sigma one for this. This is their 224. Just going to kind of blend out the edge. And as you can see, I've got like all this kind of mess right now um, underneath. So before I go any further, I'm actually just going to take a Q-tip. And this is just dry. It doesn't have anything on it. But I'm just going to kind of clean up just a touch. And kind of get rid of that um, for the most part. And then once I'm finished completely, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just kind of like clean up underneath. But, you know, so you got that. And then I'm going to use the next color, which is called Dusk. And it's a really pretty navy. And the thing I like about these two colors together is the reflex in this are almost the exact same color as um, the, sh the shadow that we used all over the lid, which is just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest amount of this because, as you can see, this isn't really smoked out and this is really pigmented, so you don't have to use a lot of color. And I'm taking the Sigma SS226, and this is like a pointed crease brush. If you can tell, like this is the 224 and this is the 226. I like the 226 for things like this because it helps get into my crease a little bit better. So I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny amount on the tip of this brush and tap off the excess for sure. And we're just going to start in the crease. And kind of work it in and we don't want a lot of color I'm kind of bringing it into the inner corner but not too much and I definitely am not adding a lot at a time so this may take a little bit of time because I want to build up this color because I don't want to get too much too quickly because then I won't be able to blend it out so just blending this slightly and again just keep adding more as you need it but you want to keep this color focused on the outer V area for sure now the very last step is to take an eyeliner brush like an angled brush like this anything that re resembles this spray the tip of the brush with a little bit of fix plus and then we're going to go in with the dusk eyeshadow the same eyeshadow that we just used for the outer corner and we're actually going to use that as an eyeliner so I'm just going to start in the middle of my eye And I'm just drawing this on as I would any other eyeliner. And when we get to the outer edge, I'm going to make the little wing.
And then I'm actually going to take some and use it to line the lower waterline as well. So now I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just kind of wipe around to get, you know, clean it up just a little bit. Then of course the last step is to curl your lashes, apply mascara, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final eye look. And it's just really simple, it's just kind of like a neutral eye with a, um, instead of using black I use blue just to kind of give it a little bit of a color. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.